Caitlin and Keely of Glitter Chimp coming to you live from the Glitter Chimp warehouse to give you an awesome tutorial on one of our new favorite things, um, Marboo's marble paints. So what we're gonna do is hang tight for a minute, finish getting these peeled, and then uh, we will, who's that? Oh, someone's dinging. And then uh, we'll um, get this tutorial started. We got it. We got it. So when you jump on, say hi. Hey, Melissa. Hey. We will say hi and get this going super crazy fast because this is going to be a super fun video because we like to dip. I do this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> do you not have nails? I do. I just, I'm having issues. <laughs> There's a knife. Mm. You call that a knife. A knife. A knife. So hello up in Amarillo. So glad everyone's jumping on. Lots of people. I can't even keep up. <laughs> you can't keep up with healing either. I give up. These are fun though. Hello up in Boston. I hope y'all are having as nice of weather as we are now down here. It was freezing cold this morning for April. And for Texas. <laughs> and for Texas. It was like 40 though. It was 40. When I left That's my house cold. at six, it was 40, which is not normal. For April. No. So, any, oh, I got both on there. Oh, look at y'all. Look at that fancy trash can you put on the table. So, see a lot of people are jumping on now. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. It snowed in Boston the other day. Yeah, 40 was their high. Mm, I'm okay, it was yeah. 75 today. Hello in Idaho. So we're gonna get started with marble paint. And so this is, it's, oh, I can't oh, even. Oh, I'm like, where is it? <laughs> we have a whole bunch of marble paint today. You want it here? Yeah. Oh, sure. Okay. So we're doing the marble. Hi, Hi. mom. So we're going to be using Marabu Easy Marble Paint today. Um, this is a new, sort of new product that we've only been carrying since December. And we're going to go through and show you guys all the crazy, amazing things that you can do with marble paint from Marabu, and we have so many things to dip. It's, and we have like lists and super special surprise at the end. So it was, it was literally what, what can we dip? What and, can and we dip? We, it's addicting. It's a, it was a challenge at that point. So we have so many different things, um, but we're gonna show you guys how to dip tumblers, vases, acrylics, wood lettering, I mean, just, a ton Everything. of thing and it was really so the first time we played with this it was we were just doing like let's do a pen oh yeah and then it went from what else can we dip and it stick to so it kind of went crazy and you will see if you've never done it before you're you'll see it the first time you do it because it's like oh well i can also put this in there and this and it just sticks so it's awesome because like for example we did shoes and so we're going to show you guys how to do shoes and Crocs and everything. So to get started, we're going to start with tumblers because that's the whole fun part, right? Tumblers. Yes. So which one should we do first? We do the black? Yeah, let's do the black. The black. The black. Okay. So this is just a prepped black tumbler. It has no epoxy on it. The paint will stick to this. No problem. Where are my gloves? Since I got to like get my hand in the water. So what you're going to need is gloves for sure. Are you doing metallic? Mm -hmm. The black one. So this is but, the metallics. Yes. Yeah. All the metallics. Um, you're going to need a tub of water, preferably one that can fit whatever you're going to be dipping. And oh, you're welcome, Katie. I hope everything is all back to normal for you guys. Um, so we're going to start with just the black tumbler. And the fun thing about when you do it on a black base is we're going to be using some of the metallic paints. So we're going to be using metallic green, violet, silver, which is 727, metallic teal, silver, red, and then metallic green, red, gold. And that should be enough. 
Yeah. Metallic blue, gold, and green. So when you do these, you have to give them a really good shake. Shake, 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 senora. Body bright. Adam's <laughs> dancing. <laughs> of course he is. All right. Got to shake them up because what's going to happen is all the all the good stuff settles at the bottom. So you want to make sure you get all of that nice and mixed up. Let's see. What's up? Oh, someone said the neons would look great. It would. Oh, and the neons definitely sure. look great. For sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera down so y'all can see the giant tub of water. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Oh, my gosh. We have extra oh hands tonight. A little more. More. Awesome. That's good. Eh, I'm gonna just turn it a little go. bit. Perfect. So with this, you can seal it with quick coat, any type of acrylic spray, or you can just straight epoxy over it after it's fully dried. I would recommend waiting a few hours just to be safe, because sometimes there can be little water droplets mm. underneath some of the paint. So what you're gonna do is, I'm just gonna start with, what is this? Teal Silver Red. So you just take the lid off and you literally just start dropping it in the water. And I know it's hard to see right now because it's clear basically, but I promise this is magic. It's a magical thing that happens. <laughs> and so now I'm using green, violet, and silver. And so there's not really any true method to this part, we're just dropping it in wherever you feel you want more color. And then at the end of this, you go back in at the end, like after you put all the drops in and you're gonna stir it up. I love these. Shelby, you can get the, the paints at glitterchimp.com. And there'll be a link somewhere in this. All right, so now I'm using green, red, gold. And then I'm going to go back in again with the teal silver red, give it a little extra sparkle. And again, so these are the metallic ones. So then I'm just going to take a popsicle stick. You can take a pencil, anything you really want and just kind of stir it up on your own. And oh. don't over stir. Yeah, don't over stir because then you can get a lot of air bubbles that get underneath the uh, paint. So then I'm going to just take this. This is weird. I should have switched yeah. seats with you. That's all good. So I don't have a very deep bucket for this. So I'm going to go sideways to this, but it'll still look just as amazing. So you just go in and dip it into the water. Dump out the water. Cool. And you end up with a really nice swirl all around the tumbler. That's cool. That one's pretty. And so that's it if you do it on a black. I'm gonna need one of those pipes. <laughs> all right, so anyway, so that's, this will look really great too once it's epoxied. So you will have the residual left on the top of the water. So what we've done is we started doing this just for fun. Ooh, my glove's so sparkly now. Oh, it is. So we just now have started doing this where we just take a sheet of paper and... Cardstock works really card good. Cardstock's really nice because then you get... Um... Oh, geez. You can turn it into like stationary if you want. I put a lot in this, so I'm gonna use the stick too to yeah. get Here's it all oh. underneath in my lap apparently. <laughs> So anyways, you can just stir it out with a stick, use paper, whatever you want to collect the excess that's left over. I'm so glad you put that down there. I have my moments. <laughs> so this just cleans out all the extra stuff on the top of the water. If you're doing multiple projects with different colors. Kind of Good. like going to a restaurant where they scrape the breadcrumbs off the table. Yeah. Awesome. Ugh. It touched me. 
It touched me. All right, so that's one cup. So I'm gonna show you, oh, styrofoam cups work great for that. Oh. See, I hadn't even tried that one I don't one think yet. we have any or I would totally be trying that right now. Right? I think there's one in the truck. Oh, we took the trash can out. Yeah, I took that out. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys on, please forgive this tumbler, it is terrible. <laughs> But that's okay. We're going to cover it up with, with um, I don't remember what colors. Black and antique silver, I think, is what it was. So, um, this is yes. this is just a tumbler I was messing around with one day, and I was going to try to do a, um, uh, my gosh, I just totally, totally blanked. Galaxy, or uh, Milky Way. Thank you, Milky Way. <laughs> a Milky Way tumbler with, and I just never finished it, which is not unusual. So, this one will be able to see a lot better, which is really, really awesome. Which one shall we start with first? I have. We'll do black. So, we're going to just use just standard black. My hand is sticky. And you re again, you really want to shake these up really, really well. And with the first color, you want to use quite a bit of. But this stuff lasts so well, so long. Oh, see how much better than it sparkles. It just goes through the water so much better. You can really see it. You can really see the black. Now I'm adding antique silver. And you know, actually, can you hear me clear? Yeah. Is that it? Uh, yeah, I'm just blind. You're not blind. I promise. I oh, know. I'm being very dramatic. Here you go. So I'm going to use clear, the crystal clear too in this, and this is going to act kind of as an extra spacer between some of the colors. And you can see how it breaks up the water, the surface tension on the water. Ooh, buzzword, surface tension. Surface, surface tension. Okay, so now I'm going to just go through here and stir it kind of up so it gets extra swirly. Ooh, that's pretty. Just the end of the stick is pretty. All right. So here goes the tumbler into the, oh. Here. There we go. All right, so I'm just gonna dip this straight in so that it goes in nice and pretty. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And so what I'm doing is covering up most of the badness that's on this tumbler. And oh, that's cool. gives it a really nice black and silver to it, which is super nice. I like that now. That's cool. I'm terrible at Milky Ways. This is going to be cheating. Well, thank you, Adam. <laughs> I'm just going to do this for fun because I can now. Use the glove. Here. So now I'm going to just get this, the top of the water clean, and we're going to start to dip some stuff that's kind of fun. A little different. Some of you may not have thought about to dip, which is why this is even more fun for me. Can you dip it more than once? Yes, you can. Just dry, make sure it's dry. Yeah, make sure it's dry. And then, uh, but yes, you can absolutely mix it more than once. Did you get it all? Sort of. Yeah, I see a little bit. I'm going to have to remember the styrofoam cup thing. I know. I'm intrigued. Plus, it'll look pretty. There we go. Like, you think it's all gone, but like... And then it's like... <laughs> there's still just a residual left. Okay, so what should we do next? The vase? The shoes? The um, letters? We have so many things to dip. We so went, many things. We went crazy at Hobby Lobby last night. Um, Let's do the letters. Let's do it. The bright, because they're bright letters. I'm going to take my ring off, too, because... I keep feeling like I'm gonna. Okay. All right, so our girls, uh, and you, a lot of y'all have seen them before, they refer to themselves as the CEOs because that is their initials. And these are, these are young elementary kids and they figured out what a CEO is. So that's what they called themselves. So who's are we doing first? Just started with the top, so C. We're doing the letter C. So this is just a wooden letter that was already painted white from Hobby Lobby because they were on sale this week since they don't do coupons anymore so um so we're going with the letter so this part of the video is brought to you by the letter c <laughs> 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 oh, 
do a little extra fun for that. So, um, I'm gonna let you dip this one. Mm, fun. Ooh Gloves. Do you want to start with the pink or the green first? Uh, green. Okay, so we're using for this, because these are her favorite colors, light green and neon pink, because this girl likes her colors brat. Yes. weird doing this in a clear bucket because I can see the table. Yeah, it's weird. And I keep thinking I'm like seeing stuff floating, but it's underneath the bucket. Now we're going to add some pretty green. And by the way, you can actually do this on Easter eggs. I saw I some people do that. that. I saw some people did it on some. It looked really cool. That was cool. Was she wanting the whole thing? Or just the top, or just the front. I, mean. I would just do the fronts. Let them deal with that whole thing of, yeah. They're good. And on this one, I didn't add any of the clear spacer colors, but you can always do that. Are you gonna, got it? I got it. Don't mess it up, she'll I, be so mad. Oh, she'll let me know. There you go. Oh, she'll like the air bubble. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Oh, her. It's awkward because I'm off to the side. Yeah, you're, you're totally with your other hand. So here is the C. Gonna get, this was brought to you by the letter C. There you go. Very cute. I feel like I should just dip something else in this. You know what? I'm gonna. Why not? All right, I have, so this yeah, will be perfect. fun. So here is an acrylic Christmas ornament. And since I have so much in here left, I'm just gonna go ahead and dip the ornament in here. And um, let's see. Oh, that's cute. There we go. Let me get that extra goop off. All right, so now I have a nice little Christmas ornament that I can put some vinyl on. And once it's dry, of course, put some vinyl on there and it's done. And it's just nice to have the, because I have the extra in here now, so. Nice little ornament. And if you have pins, this works really great for pins, too. Oh, there we go. Oh, there you go. I'm so glad we have a helper. No kidding. All right. Oh, I probably should clear the top off for the next kiddos. said it's better to do the darker color first. Uh, I'm I, all for suggestions. So am I. So we'll do the darker color first on that one. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid. I, I feel like this is a weird like preschool sensory thing. It feels like it. Just full of beans and stuff. Yes, but it's water time. Yeah. All right, so for this is the E. So this section is brought to you by the letter E. And, okay, so we're doing azure blue and aqua green. i got stuff all over my hands now. That's a pretty blue. It is. I like that blue. Ooh, this is gonna be mm -hmm. re real nice. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nope, I thought I was gonna sneeze. It went away. Just look at the light. Do what? Look at the light. Yes, ma'am. That's what someone told me. Oh. You ever feel like you're gonna sneeze? Go ahead. Look at the light. Go all the way. All the way in? Yeah, just drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Ooh. Oh, wow. That one didn't stick very well. It's not bad, though. No, it actually looks kind of cool, <laughs> but it didn't stick very well. 
It did on the back. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe I took too long. Maybe. Who knows? But it still looks pretty. Look at that. If you... On the sides. Oh, yeah. I can't touch it because you, you're holding it now. But anyways, this is... So here's the E. It looks good, though. I like it. She'll actually like it. I'm going to dip another thing. I did a star. It's a nice little star. And that's what's not... I like the acrylics because then there, when you have the extra, you can just fill it. Fill it in. You're looking for which one? All the purples for yeah. the O. Don't worry about the glitter or whatever it was. You don't want the metallic? Nah. All right, so for the O, this section's brought to you by the letter O. Let me get some gloves. I feel it only appropriate if I dip hers. Yeah. I put my hand upon your hip when I dip. Sorry. You dip, we dip. We say that we've been singing that a lot <laughs> lately. Because you got to dip. I can't find that. There we go. All right. So uh, my daughter's favorite colors are purple. So we're doing amethyst and lavender. Lavender. Oh, I was like, oh no, which way is the right way? You got it. All right, so now we're doing the letter O. Of course, right? It's cute. So here's the lovely letter O for the finishing off of the CEOs. So these will now hang in our office over the, uh, over the um, top of their office that they have. People are saying to put it in at an angle, not straight in. Oh. Thank y'all. Thank you. I haven't done letters before, so this is a first for me on the letters. All right, so. Now I'm intrigued. I want to do it like that. Well, we have plenty of other yeah. things to be up. And that's true because the things that we've been working on have, all have been, been going in at an, at an, at an angle. angle. They haven't been just weird, random. I got it. Got it all? Uh-huh. Yep. Okay, perfect. Okay. What's next? We're going to do the shoes. Cool. All right, so we did shoes the other day in the warehouse, and we did um, all the neon colors on this, and it turned out really cool. So we're going to show you guys how we do the shoes. These are just Keds, as you can see in the shoe. Um, but they're really simple. Also, Keds are really cheap, so if you mess them up, you're not going to be, like, super heartbroken about it get that so i have a lovely pair of just some plain old big white kids fresh out of the box so um the way that i did these is i literally just went i did go at an angle when i did them. i know that's what i mean yeah. everything that we've been doing it's been at an angle at an angle but the letters all right so we're using only neon did you want neon pink or what did we do with this that was pink orange and, and yellow, yellow i believe yeah so let's just do let's just do these why not so we're doing neon green, neon orange, and neon yellow. And these are big shoes because I have big feet. <laughs> <laughs> so gonna need a lot of lot of paint. I hear a dog barking. And when I did these shoes, it was really funny because I didn't know how they were gonna turn out with the paint on them oh. yep but it looked really cool yeah i think i went heavy on the oh here's pink i'll throw in some pink what just happened <laughs> okay all right 
Did I get you? Yeah, I just saw. Oh. I, my automatic response was to look up. <laughs> All right. I was about to grab the shoe. I already did. So when I do, when you do this, you're going to go down like this, which helps keep a lot of the water out from the inside. Okay, sorry y'all. I just got it really excited. So here is the dipped that shoe. That was so cool in person. Ugh. I mean, I'm sure it was good in the video too, but. No, Adam, you can't have my shoes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here is the one shoe. And again, it's just really not, I, you can tape the bottoms off if you don't want to get the, the white on the sole done, but. We're just oh. being quick, but I actually, I mean. I like that. Mm. Okay, sorry. Just drooling over shoes. All right, so now I'm gonna do the other shoe real quick. <laughs> so let me just get this off the top because it won't have enough of those colors in it. I'm actually enjoying just scraping the top of the water. Judy would like this. <laughs> Judy would love that. All right, so I started with green. And like I said, this is what happened. We started dipping everything we could find. As you could spray seal these. Yeah. So um, what I would recommend it be to use, like, they have, like, waterproof spray that you can buy for shoes. And um, that's what I would spray on these after they've fully dried. Um, Angie, we're just using room temperature. Yeah, this is, this water's been sitting in the tote for. Hi, Angie, if you're the same Angie I spoke to today. Hi, Angie, <laughs> if you're that Angie from today. I'm assuming, the phone. I mean, I know your name, but it could be a different Angie, so. So, another shoe, same thing. Oh, and that one turned out really I nice. want to go buy new shoes now. <laughs> so, and this is probably, I'm uh, going to throw off someone's OCD. That's so cool. So there you go. Nice new shoes, custom for, I mean, oh man, you could do some really cool wedding shoes. You, yeah, mm, that's it. I'm leaving the glitter business. I'm starting a shoe company. I'm picturing a white, <laughs> like summer cotton dress with those. Yes. So cute. Very cool. Adam's just smiling like, I'm about to lose so much money on shoes. Mm -hmm. So there you guys go. That's awesome. I can't wait for these to dry. All right, so that's the, that's the shoes. And then we have something really fun. We have some Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually went through and like planned what colors were going on what Otherwise, we would be Ugh. a mess. Losing our minds. Like I said, guys, this is why this is fun. Is light green I, yeah, I could dip both shoes at the same time, but this tub isn't really big enough for we me to... We wanted one small enough to it would stay in frame. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, I could. It was just... I mean, it's an awkward angle for me. But absolutely, yes, you could dip two shoes in here at once. I have very big feet, so <laughs> <laughs> I need a lot of space. Can you for... hear the green? Which green? The light green. Light green. Thank you. You want to do this one? Sure. So Are we here, going actually, all in? so we have two shoes, two cro two Crocs. So we'll do both at once. There you go. So Those these are, are small. so these were bought. These are from Hobby Lobby. They're just plain old cracks. Um, now, okay, I'm going to just state this now. Uh, we have not dipped these, so I don't know exactly how long this would last on the shoe. But if you're going just for like a fun beach trip, I mean, what's the harm in marbling your shoes for a trip? Right. But so I don't I don't know how well this will even work long term. But for fun, for fun, for fun, you can do this. Start with the blue. My gloves look really pretty right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, see, 
Steve, that's a pretty blue. It is very. So we'll dip these at the same time and then. Perfect. That's what I'm trying to. I want some Crocs. These look comfy. They look cute. I've I, never I can't worn. Believe, and I can't believe I'm saying they look cute because honestly. I just thought they'd be fun to try to dip. Do you have a stirrer? You dip, you dip, we dip. I have a stirrer. Oh, I caught it too fast. I don't think it likes the popsicle sticks very much. I'm gonna do something real mean. Sorry, girls. Hey. Nope. Mm -mm. That didn't work either. Ew, that looks like a weird blue booger. That's okay. Ready? Let's go. Crocs at the same time. Oh my God, it's like Earth Day. I really hope it stays. Again, I don't, we've not done this before. No, this not with all Crocs. Just play around and have fun. Just play. Judy, I hope you like these. These are cute. I know. Okay, now I want Crocs. Let's go get some. Let's go get some shoes. Academy has them. So know. anyways, again, I don't know how long this will actually stay on the shoe for, If but. This is really cute. I like how we both, we're doing the opposite shoes here. So there's, there's your cracks. These are nice. Oh, I'm glad Adam put Thank gloves you, on. <laughs> Just a mystery hand grabbing things. All right, so now we're gonna do something kind of more crafty. We're gonna do the, let's do the picture frames. <laughs> that went way better than I expected. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, that's kind of how we feel. I mean, it's honestly like, we're just like, let's have fun. Let's see what we can do. Let's just play we'll, with We'll figure it out for y'all. If it's <laughs> doable. It works or it doesn't work. I like your bracelets. Oh, thanks. Okay. Oh, yep. I just popped my glove. Dang it. I was trying to, like, it got stuck together and then it just ripped so we have it it's not i wouldn't say it's super sticky but like if it gets on your skin it's gonna be sticky i also wonder it's cool here it is and cooler i'm wondering than normal. if like i feel like it's a little bit stickier than it's been when we've played or when we've been using it yeah a little bit so i'm wondering if it's because the water is just cooler from the tap right now probably so that could be it too I don't have a thermometer. But I mean, it's still working fine, but it, it does seem a, maybe a slightly stickier than normal. Normal. Not when we did it the other day when it was like 90 out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so we have three picture frames to show off. They're plain and they're boring. So we got a black, a gold, and a white. And we've already taken, obviously, all of the... Glass, plastic, Everything's paper. out of it. Which one were we doing for white? I don't know, but Jessica just said that there's a gloss varnish by Marabou to keep your products longer. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry, I don't carry that, so not yet anyway. So um, once I do though, but yes, That's I'll cool. have to look into it to get that. Thank you, Jessica. Here. Um, so yeah, do you wanna do, I don't remember, I have all yeah, of these on. over here. <laughs> Oh, is that? We're just doing the copper, right? I kind of really like this color. <gasps> I need a napkin. It's that. <laughs> I'm wearing gloves, so I feel the need to be very... Your gloves look really pretty, though. Thanks. Just like in the... What is it? I don't know if it's water or paint. I think it's paint, just water. But I just got a little paranoid. It's my phone. It's my lifeline. <laughs> <laughs> the people of Glitter Chimp wouldn't be able to speak to you anymore. This is... All right. So we were just doing copper? Yes, for the gold. For the gold frame? Yes. Okay. All right, sorry. We're going to start with the gold frame. Yeah, I'm like, I think. So, and they, this was just a little frame. I haven't tried to do these frames before, so this will be fun. I'm going to need the clear so I can have some spacers. I think you put it back in the... No, I'll put it over here. Way over there. Sticky. 
I don't know how this will work, like, look on here, but I think it'll look good. What? The copper on the gold? Um, yeah. Oh. I don't know. I'm just curious. Only one way to find out. This is out. just a, yeah, that's all this is. Let's just see. Have fun with it. I'm not going to stir this either. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the best way to hold this. Judy right. loves the Crocs. Good, because they're yours. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to dip this in here. I don't know if it's going to really show. Oh, it kind of does. Oh, yeah. It do no, it does. It's just not as as bright, but it's kind of gives it a like nice... That. It, it almost like animal print to the frame. I don't know. I like it, but I'm also like... You like golds. I like golds, and I don't want like a super crazy Blingy. flashy frame for mm -hmm. my pictures. So there's some nice, this is just copper it on just a gold changes up frame. A plain gold frame. It looks aged. Know. There you go. Thank you, sir. That's a I'm having to buy him dinner or something because of this. <gasps> oh, wait, you know what? He loves it. Because I've got the little copper. I'm going to do a little Saturn keychain. Which you can't even really see on here, but that's okay. <laughs> if I painted the back of this white, you'd yeah. see it a lot better. So I'll do that tomorrow. Fine. Really? Actually, it needs to be like room temperature is what we've used. Yes. But it is, it is 72 in here. It matches my bracelets. Oh my gosh. No wonder <laughs> I like it. You're so, you're so. No, that's what they said. You're so bougie. This girl and her bracelets. Between her and Sarah and by <laughs> I know. We like our jewelry. You guys do like your jewelry. But these are great. You can wear these in the pool. Hey, just so you guys know, copper and blue look really nice together. They do. I, I, this I'm is the weirdest it. thing ever. To have it on the gloves like that. Okay, so let's do the... Which Someone said warm water is best, which would possibly make sense because we've been using it when Not it's warm, warm, but it's been warmer outside from the tap. Yeah, and this has been sitting too for about an hour. Right. So, so. it's hard to keep it warm. And for Deborah, this. someone said that they use theirs in hard water, and it works fine. Hard is fine. Oh, good. Oh, thank you, Crystal. Thanks, okay. Crystal. What? Are, okay, which one are you doing? White. I want to try the rose. Oh, oh, okay. One of these. Yeah. Which colors though? The Do red and blue. Start? Okay. Oh. So again, Should we're gonna we try something that I have we have not tried because it's fun. We like we're like a this blue? Yeah. <sighs> I'm sorry, I just splashed water. As long as it's water. It's just water, it was on my hand. I'm just kidding. I actually don't care. Is this one or the the Azure blue? This one. Okay. No, it was the Azure. I just I wrote can't blue. Remember. I wrote red and blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these are little like thank, thank you. you. Uh, I guess they're styrofoam or not styrofoam. No. They're like foam they're foamy roses. Plastic, you stick them right. on the wall. Uh, we found these at Hobby Lobby yesterday, and I mean, why not? Why not? That's gonna be my new mantra. Why not? Are you wanting to do more than one, or were you just? We'll do both. We have plenty. True that. So we're going a little patriotic. Fourth of July and. You know, Memorial Day and all that stuff's coming up. How cute would these be? Like if you were having like a 4th of July party. I'm adding clear, by the way. Mm. That's why it's not really Doing showing anything? much anything else. I have no idea how this is going to work. Are you going to stir it? Are you just gonna dip I'm just going to dip it. Let's dip it. All right. So these again, I'll have to, I don't know if this is going to work, but that's why this is fun. Angle. Ready? Angle. One, I don't know. two, three. Oh. <laughs> Yours got goopy. That's actually pretty. I like it. These would be cute just if you're decorating like your kid's room. Yeah. And On you the do. Wall. The girls would love that. Yeah. I wanted to do them just red and white because then I was like, it's like Alice in Wonderland's painting the roses red. There you go. That's, That's cool. I like it. I'm gonna do a double dip. I'm not. I am. 
I just want to compare. You know what I mean? What's better is why. So when you do a double dip on oh, it. I'm doing it. So I have to double dip. Give it a shake. Oh, yep. You got a string on your finger. So there you go. I That's like cute. Oh, I like that. I'm getting itchy on my face. Thank you, at Oat Mystery Hand. <laughs> These are just fun. I like it. Anyway. How do they stick on the wall? They, they actually they have, have they have a little adhesive, like a 3M tape adhesive peel on the back. Yep. And then they have, um, and they also have like a little hook where you could There's attach a, hook a right nail. right here. You could put, yeah, nail, anything. And then this peels off the circle. Hi, Angie. Um, so, but these are cute. And then of course at Hobby Lab, they had the bigger ones that you could buy too. But that's cute. What other fun stuff can we just randomly dip? Um, I dip, you dip, we dip. I feel like I've made a giant mess over here. Eh. We have this. Oh yeah, the big, okay. <laughs> I went a little too crazy at Hobby Lobby, didn't I? Eh. Eh. It's like blasphemy. Okay. Hmm? What's your question? What if you put that in water, then put the stuff on it and bring it up through? How's that work? I would need string. Mm. Okay. I mean, oh, you mean like put it in the water? Yeah. Put the, I'm sorry, I touched you with that. And then put the ink or the marble paint over it. Right. And then pull it pull up. up we could, I mean, we could try that. I mean, why not? Why not? We're going to try something. We're going to try Adam's thing. Ready? And if it's, go, oh, you're not going to like drop it, are you? No. Oh. My gosh. <laughs> I was like, crap. I just was like making sure you're ready. To... Okay. So we're going to try a reverse with it submerged. And this then... is truly like, well, just we're experimenting here, y'all. Okay. This is why I like crafting because it's playtime. I think we were just going to do gold. Gold and silver is what we originally yeah. planned. Let's do it. I have, oh, I have copper. Adam wants to play. Silver. That's what's going on. Silver. Gold. Cross it. Adam wants to play. Just curious. There is no telling. So we're going to do this instead with the reef. It's a metal reef from Hobby Lobby. It's in there. And um, we're going to just raise. I mean, we'll see what happens. Raise it up. If that doesn't work, then we'll let it dry and dip it the other way and see if we can correct the problem. Yeah, we actually... Shoes. Oh, huh, funny you ask. We actually have a vase that we're going to do. But it's on ceramic. this, you definitely want to... Probably, if you're going to use it a lot, put some type of a coating on it. Yes, Crystal, we should have some finishing wire to help pull it up. But, you know, this is... We're, like, literally this is just not... decided to do this <laughs> now. That's okay. I'll just go in from un underneath in the side and... What's the worst that could happen? It doesn't turn out good. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. That's why it's crafting, because it's art instead of, you know, it's art. People there are quite cringing no. at us right now. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, make them do glitter. <laughs> Please. This is what happens when we venture out. Out of our It's normal. exciting and fun and just something different. And slightly terrifying. Put your hand in first, then put oh, well, paint in. <laughs> that's okay. I got this. You need me to help do a side? I got it. You're going to just go in? Oh, yeah, you got this. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. It didn't really work very well. But that's okay, because you know why? Turn it around. I'm just going to go for it this way. So you you, I'm just going to show you. In? So a lot of it just kind of, I guess maybe because the angle of the leaves, but that's okay, because I'm just going to. We also went straight in and didn't go in back up with an angle true that's better yeah so there you go i just added a, i don't know if you can tell it just added a little extra sparkle to it if we had done probably like a green it would have really popped in there that's a cool thing though you could do it later mm -hmm. add another color so that's the silver and gold 
still pretty. Oh yeah. Thanks, Crystal. Next time we'll have wire and do it that way. Did you want to do another frame or? Or should we just go ahead and do the big thing? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna oh, need- Oh wait. Hmm? Yes, somebody had asked about the ceramic Oh bag. yeah, the vase. Only because they, someone actually mentioned that. So okay. I don't wanna. And then we'll do our big grand finale thing of something really weird. But at the same time, I'm though? excited. I mean... I'm excited. All right, so this is just a ceramic vase. The big thing. Yes, it's the big thing. It's not fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very Southern. All right. So this is just a white ceramic vase that we got. Oh. <laughs> As I almost drop it. Oh yeah, see, because the sticky side is on the top. Hmm? That's why. All right, so this is the vase. Mm. What were we gonna do on the vase? Wouldn't it just silver? silver? So silver and clear. All right, so this vase, we're just gonna do I don't want to do the entire vase. I actually just kind of want to stop about halfway up the vase. Just kind of make it a little artistic. I like the straight line. So we're going to go in with the silver and then a little clear for some spacing and then more silver. Someone's asking if we're doing pens, but we... We probably won't do pens, but we have some pens that we can show that we played with last week or we've done a lot know. of time pens. flies. We've done a lot of pens. We've really done a lot of pens lately. Go in at an angle and twist up. Go in at an angle and twist twist it as you go in. Huh. I haven't done the twist. Go in and an twist. And twist. Yeah. Okay. And twist as I go in. All right, so we're going to just do the vase. <laughs> what? Someone said that looks so addicting. Stop before you get to the pets. <laughs> <laughs> we got children in the back. All right, so I'm going to just go in and do the twisty thing as I go in. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> So here is the, on the, just, again, this is just a white vase. It's nice to sit on the counter with like some nice pretty flowers in it. That's me. <laughs> you do like the more simple designs. So there's that. And now I'm gonna start prepping up for the big, big thing. The big thing. The big thing. Okay. I'm terrified I'm gonna like hit something. Oh, show them a couple of pins. Oh yeah. Just because they're, they've, so, a few people have asked and then we'll move on. So yes. here's some pins that we did the other day. Um, Sorry, I was trying not to drop it. So this is just, we painted it white with spray paint. Um, I just have to put epoxy on it to finish it off. But um, this one was, it's a nice white teal and purple with some glitter. Um, I don't remember which glitter paint I used. But that's one, and then we did, <laughs> this is when we let the kids pick the colors. <laughs> so it was literally all the colors that they could possibly grab. But it looks, I mean, actually, I mean, it no, turns I out like really it. nice. I like this one. And then we did this black one. We just had spray painted it black and then used all of the metallics on it. I don't even think we spray painted it. Yeah, we did. We did? Yeah, it's black. Well, the pen's black. But it's... Right? Yeah. But no, it's not... Know. Oh, the never clear mind. Part. I know. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, okay. I'm like, the words are not coming out of my mouth right. Um, this one was using rose gold and copper because for some reason we're on a rose gold and copper kick. But they're... I mean, the pens are super easy to make. That's for sure. All right, so... 
Adam, can you give me the giant fun thing that we're gonna dip? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn the camera up real quick. Ooh, sorry, it's so great. Okay, so I saw a picture the other day of <laughs> one of these, and this is a cow skull. This is just pa uh, painter's tape, and um, they marble did a marble dip on the skull, and then they did they they did like a what's the word I'm looking for? They painted the Paint, horns. Yeah. Um, but. <laughs> I can't do that. I have glitter to play with. So I'm going to dip the skull today so y'all can see what the whole skull looks like. And then I'm gonna actually use tacket method on the horns after I take the paint off in um, the glitter color of Cheyenne to match the, uh, the marble paints that we're going to use. So we have a huge trash can literally full of water to dip this skull. And um, I have obviously not tried this at all. So it may work, it may not, but that's what makes it fun. But I'm really excited. So which one are you looking for? Copper, camper, and black. I do not have black. Cool. Here, oh, I'll here shake it is. that. Thank you. Okay, so this is probably gonna take quite a bit of. I would imagine. Ink. Oh, here, can I hand that to you for a minute? I'm so glad we have an assistant. So this is gonna be entertaining to say the least um so i got this skull on ebay on ebay on etsy from just someone selling it <laughs> i did um super glue some of the teeth in place because they were a little loose we don't need any visits from the tooth fairy <laughs> for yeah. a cow um but i just right now this is kind of a cool thing a lot of people are using skulls and decor and this is texas so right now all right, so I'm gonna turn the camera over. Y'all have to look at our refrigerator. But here's our giant trash can. And this is gonna, I'm probably gonna have to have, let me take this and you're probably gonna have to, me? no, I'm just gonna set it. Okay, so this is gonna take a lot of paint. paint. So, ooh, but it looks pretty. Do you want me to do it now or? Yeah, go ahead. So we're doing copper and black. And I need the clear. Four. Oh, there it is. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. I hope this turns out good. <laughs> Say a little prayer. Please do well. Please do well. I really want the swirl. Think it's well. enough. Huh? Never mind. We shall see. All right, guys. So again, I taped the horns. Angle twist. Yep. Good luck. See you guys on the other side. You you got this. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah. That is so That looks really good. Yes. Like really good. Okay. Oh, that's gonna look so, so good. I'm so glad I filled up this giant trash can with stuff here. All right. So here it is. One cow skull <laughs> dipped using black and copper. And that is nice. That looks good. That looks really good. Look how that I'm not going to lie. Looks. I was a little nervous. I was terrified, Keely. <laughs> terrified. <laughs> it's okay. It's just my watch. So there you guys go. I'm so glad I taped the horns. Yeah. For sure. Imagine the tacket on the horns, though. Oh, I know. It's going to look. Oh, I can't wait to finish this tomorrow. Okay, I need to, yep, thank you. Thank you, assistant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna turn this back around like so. There we go. Oh, my goodness. We dipped literally 
everything. Yes. So, um, that's what we have. And I mean, this is so, it's so easy. Um, we did learn the water was probably a little too cold, yeah. but that's what happens when it gets to room temperature and it's now 70. That's why we're doing it too. So you can learn from our yeah. mistake. Um, I will show the finished project. I'm going to definitely let that skull dr like super dry um, before I actually do the tacket on the horns. Uh, and I've never done tacket on the horns. So a um, dip a phone stand. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. And we do have these. We have the, yeah. We have little grippies. This is a little bit. Huh? That's the wood. They're talking about. There. What wood? Oh, I, you know, I probably should have put gloves on. I just did my nails. <laughs> <laughs> How'd it turn out? Well, my thumb was on it. Oh, yeah. I see. <laughs> well, I might have my thumb on the grippy, but that's okay. Oh, thank you. Adam, so, he's so good. You're like on point tonight. So that's what we have. It's, if you have the marble paints from Marbu, definitely give them a try and play with them because like I said, you will start dipping everything you can think of that you're just, I mean, when I dipped the shoe the other day, I think everyone thought I was crazy. And then they were all signing up to go get shoes and so they could dip shoes themselves. <laughs> so, yes. I, don't, I mean, it's just a fun thing to do. It's easy to do with, I mean, friends, you're, you know, anyone that you have over, if you're out, you know, a ladies night in and, oh, oh someone said, hi, Adam. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, can you actually grab the binder? And then also, oh, yeah. so this for those of you who memory. have the paints and it's hard to see what the color looks like in this, I'm a nerd. I like binders. I actually made <laughs> a binder for Marabu paints for me to, so when I'm doing a project, I can go, oh, that's the color. Um, so I made it so it has the inks, an ink section and a paint section. And I'm a giant nerd. I did this so that I can see what each color looks like when it's out of the bottle. Um, so, I, you know, it's like, this is the alcohol ink. So it's like brown caramel, it's alphabetical because I'm a giant nerd. Um, here is the marble paints. So yeah, it's a swatch book basically so that I can see what everything looks like. Um, for the glitter colors and the marbles, I drew just with black Sharpie so that I could see what it looks like on black versus white. And I, I just, I know a lot of you guys like to make swatches with the glitter. So this is an easy way to make swatches with the inks and the paints. And I mean, and this didn't, this was, this thing, this was easy. It didn't yeah. take that long to do it. They thought I was weird sitting in the office with gloves on and playing with paper, <laughs> but that's fine. That's part of crafting is being organized as possibly can. Um, but I'm really glad you guys got to watch tonight. If you have any questions, please post them below and we will do our best to answer everyone's questions. Or you can always email us at info at glitterchimp.com or you can go on our Facebook page. And I mean, everyone in there is extremely helpful. Um, so if it's not one of us or our moderators answering, um, everyone in there is super duper helpful. Dip the binder. <laughs> I'll have to do that, but I have to then take everything out. So maybe I will next time. But uh that would be really funny. Let's dip they? Keely's phone. I uh, know. <laughs> You're so no. mean. <laughs> so mean. Um, the next glitter project. Well, I guess my next glitter project is going to be tack it with the horns. So, oh, and uh, my mom says, great job, Adam. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's our, he's our IT guy too. So he was here to make sure the internet worked very, very well, which it seemed to have. That's why the doors open. Um, dip each other. <laughs> I already dipped myself several times apparently. Yeah, you did. I forget to put gloves on. I can't help myself. Yeah, that's fine. What can you use to remove it? Um, I will probably just use rubbing alcohol or um, nail polish, polish remover. remover. Dawn dish soap. Dawn gets off everything. Right. Um, but yes, sell the swatch pages. I'll tell you guys what, I'll upload the swatch pages worksheet thing on the Facebook page and y'all can just go to town with it. So It'll be under files. Let me under the files. I'll get that done. I'll try to get that done. Sometime tonight. this week. Yeah, probably Friday. 
It's been a crazy week. I thought today was Tuesday until I was reminded it's library day. I thought it was Wednesday. Thursday. We've been thrown off for two weeks uh, now as it, what day it is. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions, please email us or um, if you can, I mean, email. message us on Facebook. We love getting emails. Emails is easiest because that's what we do all day long is answer all your emails. Um, so, but uh, we will have a preview of the Maybox next week. Um, we're just trying to trying to wait a little bit kind of see what happens um the colors are amazing though yeah it's i mean i really like the box it's pretty i'm about to sneeze again to me it's pretty box i'm gonna sneeze look at the light <laughs> bless you oh i love cold fronts have you never know. heard that to look at the light <laughs> no. i've heard go to the light no. <laughs> If you feel like a sneeze coming on, like, look at a light. And that does what? It makes it go away. Okay, sure. Anyways. I believe you. Um. <laughs> Sorry. You are just... they are, are they all new again? Yes. The box. Oh, yes. Lots of new fine cuts and coarse cuts and the mixes. Oh, the mixes. Oh, the mixes. <sighs> They're pretty. Yes. And we've already started working on the July box. Yep. Because we're crazy. Um, so, but you guys have a great night. I'm glad you guys got to all tune in and watch. And again, if you have any questions, please email us. Yeah, don't, I'm not going to the light. No, she won't. Um, I will not. Uh, so y'all have a great night and we will see you guys again soon. And I will definitely get pictures of the skull posted as soon as it's finished. So it makes it. <laughs> ha! Makes maybe, I'm, maybe it's the opposite then. Who knows? <laughs> don't listen to me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do not take medical advice from Keely. <laughs> she is not a doctor. No, no, no. Not a doctor. So you guys have a great night and we will see you guys again very, very soon. Yay.